Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. In this video we're going to look at using colour. Now you can attack colour from a couple of ways. You can, when you're drawing your boxes and colouring things in, you can use this little colour panel here. And what you do is you drag this up and down to get the hue. When we move this little circle around by clicking and dragging it to pick the colour. And you'll notice that it's in the front here is my foreground colour. There it is down here as well. And if I go to my type tool, can you see here, it'll use the same colour. If I use my rectangle tool, it'll use whatever is in that foreground colour. Because watch this, I can change it. And all of these things will change at the same time. And I can start drawing things and making colour. To get a little bit more technical, if you are working on a brand of a company that has specific colours, you'll need to enter these and you can do these by creating what's called a swatch. To do a swatch, first of all go to colour and what we're going to do is instead of dragging things around, what we're going to do is double click this swatch here and we're going to type it in. So if you're working with a brand that has existing colours, you can type in the details that you know. So if you know the RGB colour, you can type it in, say it's zero, say it's 200 and 220. It's gonna give me this kind of light blue, so I know exactly that that's the right colour. You might also get this number down here next to the hash, this is the hexadecimal number, so you might get to type this in, and it can be three or six digits, depending on what you're given, they'll both work. If you're given the CMYK details, you can pop them in here as well. Now if, so to pick this color, say we've got this magic swatch that we need, we can click this one that says add to swatches. We give it a name and let's call this one the example blue. And what you'll notice is, I'll click OK, is in my swatches panel right down the bottom of this list here, now there is this color here called example blue. Okay, so that I can reuse over and over again. Say if I switch to another color because I'm using it, and it's gone to this pink purpley color, if I get my type tool now and I need to make some type that is blue, I just gotta make sure that I click on blue before I start typing, okay, and it will change it. If I need to change it afterwards, I can select the type and then pick any swatch in here, and it will change once I go back to the move tool. Great. For the people that aren't follow a real big guide for colors and you're able to pick your own colors, you obviously can pick your own, but sometimes you can get caught up not knowing which color to pick, what works with what. So what you can do is use something called Adobe Color. Now it's built into Photoshop. Let's go to Window, down to Extensions, and it's this one called Adobe Color Themes. Open it up. You need to be connected to the net and you need to be signed into your Creative Cloud account. Now, once you're in here, and um, there's this one here called Explore. For inspiration, I like to go to this one that says most popular. Okay, and this is the one that's been most used by people through this little system here. So quite often to the top here is a nice group of five colors that you can use to lay out your website. As part of Dolly Color Things, you can go and upload your own swatches as well. Say if you've created a corporate theme and you want to share it with other designers throughout the business, what you can do is you can upload them to Color Things. I won't cover it in this tutorial, but you can upload your own swatches to this Adobe Color Themes. And what I've done for you, if you type in BYOL, hit enter, you'll find the colors that I'm using in this tutorial that you can download and use. Now to download them and add them to your swatches, watch this where it says actions here, drop this down and said add to my swatches. Okay, and you'll see them, they all appeared just in the bottom here of my swatches panel. What you'll also see is, can you see they've been added to my library here? If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, this first part will work, but this libraries option won't be. We're in 2015, this library option is a really great way to pick colors. So I'm gonna pop that in and we all should be working off these colors now. Obviously through this tutorial you can pick your own colors, but if you wanna follow along exactly, that's the way to do it. Now, I love to share, so I've made a few of these videos free. Of course though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe and hide it our good YouTube people. Now I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?